Today I'm going to talk about remote communities in northeastern Greece in Alexandroupolis, Soufli, Ditsamotiko, and Neoristias. Now, if we look at the map, you see in western Thrace, which became part of Greece, you have a community at the far right called Alexandroupolis. For example, in the Holocaust, that was part of the Bulgarian zone, as was all of that green area in Thrace. Soufli and Ditamotiko in the, in the Holocaust were part of the German zone, okay, but they were part of the Ottoman Empire. They were part of modern Greece. They were part of the Bulgarian occupation during World War I. After World War I, they were part of Greece. And then in the Holocaust, uh, they had a divided history. The community of Neoristias, Neoristiada was formed in 1923, and it was at that time one of the smallest in Greece. The Jewish community was established in the new Greek city, formerly called Karagats, founded after the Treaty of Lausanne. The city is located near the Greek border to Turkey. At that time, 20 Jewish families settled in the region and formed a community with its own synagogue and rabbi. The presence of Jews in the disputed frontier region caused the reaction of the residents, and as, as a result, the notables constantly reported to the Greek authorities requesting the evacuation of the Jews. The main reason for these reactions was commercial competition. On August 7th, 1925, the prefect, or like the head of the police, sent a relative document to the administrator of Macedonia, reporting, amongst other things, the Jews, holders of the largest capital, succeeded to control the greatest part of commerce, thus depriving the Greek bread earners of a significant means of earning a livelihood. However, the Jews had been living in the old city of Karagats for several decades and had peaceful relations with their fellow citizens. This is the, the farthest northeastern point of Greece. In 1925, the community compromised of 28 families, 59 men and 41 women. 15 of these families owned their own homes and were involved in industries and commerce. Rabbi Abraham Yossi Farin led services at the synagogue. In 1943, the community had 197 members. On the night of March 4th, 1943, the Germans arrested all of them and via Salonika deported them to the death camps in Auschwitz-Birkenau. Only three of them survived. Uh, there are no Jews living there today. In the neighboring city of Soufli, which is to the south, it was founded in the middle of the Turkish rule in the 17th century and was originally called Sufulu. In the 19th century, the city developed into an urban center thanks to the railway transportation system. The Jews who settled there were involved in silk industry and commerce. The factories of the Givre brothers and Pepo Azarias were well known. Since they were few in number, the Jews did not make up a community. Uh, during the Nazi persecution, 32 Jews were arrested and exterminated in the Nazi camps. No Jews lived there ever since. The biggest community, Jewish community in the region is called the Tomotiko. On the right in the picture, that's the old cemetery. It's very neglected. Hardly anyone goes there. It's very far away. And on the left is a typical grave written in Hebrew characters in Judeo-Spanish. So... The Jewish community of Ditomotiko was one of the oldest Jewish communities of Greece and the largest one in Greek Thrace. During the reign of the usurper Emperor John VI, Katakuzinos, who was crowned King of Rome in Ditomotika, a Jewish, probably Greek-speaking Romaniote community had already been formed there. When the city came into Ottoman hands, the Jewish population started increasing due to the arrival of the Ashkenazi Jews from Hungary in 1376 and from France in 1394. This is all during the Black Plague. In 1470, Jewish fugitives from Bavaria came to the city. However, the Ashkenazim were soon absorbed by the wave of Sephardic Jews who formed a new community called Demotica in Ladino. In the 17th century and 18th centuries, due to severe reasons, several reasons, one of which was an economic recession, the community existed but was small in size, according to the description of the tr Turkish traveler Evelia Celebe, who, listing the quarters of the city, mentions one called Yehudilur, the Jewish quarter. In the middle of the 19th century, the Jewish population was about 500 people, and according to a statistic study of 1906, in other words, there was an Ottoman census then, uh, published in Bulletin d'Orient, in the region of Ditomotico, there were 1,110 Jews. In 1962, a new synagogue was built to replace the old temporary one. 
in the area of the Turkish school on modern-day Katsandoni Street. It was built in a Sephardic architectural style. It was square and had a dome. In 1924, the synagogue was entirely renovated. In 1897, the modern stream of the Alliance Israeli Universelle brought financial and educational support from France. And uh, in 1911, a new school building was built, and in 1913, it was attended by 255 pupils. After 1924, the school belonged to the community. The, instructions, the instructors were Greek scholar Yosef Pesach, Elias Bar Barzilai, who later became chief rabbi of Athens and encouraged the community to resist in the Holocaust, Samuel Nachon and Yosef Reitan. In the beginning of the 20th century, the Jews of the Tomotico thrived. It is worth mentioning that in 1913, the Tsar Ferdinand of Bulgaria, who visited the city, stayed in the splendid home of Raphael Bechar. King Alexandros of Greece also stayed there on the July 8, 1920, the day before the Greek group, Greek troops marched into eastern Thrace, and then in, in Asia Minor, in Turkey, for three years. The Jews of the Demotico were in commerce, small industries, and some were craftsmen. The Givre family prevailed financially and socially, since many of its members were in the silk trade. Generally speaking, the incorporation of the Demotico to the Jew Greek state in 1912 20 accelerated the development of the Jewish community and its members increased until World War II. By that time, the Jewish population of the Demotico was 1,000. In April 1941, the Nazis invaded the city. Some Jews had succeeded to flee to relatives' homes in Turkey, especially the youth. Very few succeeded to escape to Palestine. The, the Turks sent some of them, or most of them, we don't actually know, back to the, Greek, to the area or the city or to the Greek islands where they shared the fate of other Greek Jews. During the two following years, the Jews' properties were looted, their homes were requisitioned, and the Nazis, using their favorite method, method, threw them off guard. The Jews went on living without knowing that they were on the list to Auschwitz. On May 4, 1943, 731 Jews from Dizamotico and 180 from Neo Aristiada were arrested by the Germans, squeezed into cattle car vans and transferred to Thessaloniki, then deported to Auschwitz and they never returned. You have a picture of the Jews being deported. This picture is a picture of the home of the silk merchant Eliezer Givre, known as the Cocoon House. And lastly, you have Alexandrupolis, which was a small town in the Holocaust, they were deported by the Bulgarians, and they were sent to Treblinka, and no one ever returned. It was one of the newest cities of the region. The original name in, under the Ottomans, in an Ottoman Turkish, was Dede De Aç. It was founded in 1850 after the construction of the railway line connecting Europe to Anatolia and served as a junction. Shortly afterwards, a large number of people settled around the railway station. This number increased due to the advantageous position of the new city. People from different religious and ethnic groups of the Ottoman Empire came to live in the settlement. This is why, until today, the city has an Armenian church and community. It also has a, a Roman Catholic community, etc. And naturally, the Jews who emigrated to the city, being amongst the most hardworking groups in the modern Greek state, developed a significant enterprising activity. A small Jewish community was formed, but dwindled after the Asia Minor War of 1922. Remember, it's far away and it's still limited in uh, economic possibilities. A synagogue was located on modern-day Mazaraki Street. Later on, after the annulment of the community, the building was used as a Christian home. The members of the community were involved in trade, especially in the traditional branches of textiles and glass. And some were money changers. Family names were Reitan, Moise, Matalon, Giron, Hatem, Balul, etc. In the early and tragic 1940s, Alexandrupolis had 150 Jews. On the night of March 3rd, 1943, the same night where Germans took the Jews of De Tomotico and um, Soufli, for example, in, nearby, the Bulgarians arrested the Jews of Alexandrupolis. They took them to in, uh, to intermediary camps in Bulgaria, then to Loam on the coast, on the Danube River, then took them to Treblinka. Only four Jews of Alexandrupolis survived the Holocaust. 